Hey guys, welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below to help your brother out. Take only one second to help with YouTube algorithm. We have some quick topics in this video. Kingsley Coman, what do you think about him? Should Chelsea or Arsenal sign him? Because he is available on loan plus option to buy. We're going to also discuss about Dominique Salanke, another Chelsea Academy product that is going to join Tottenham Hospitals very, very soon. And I was recording this video. Immediately, I get a notification telling me that Chelsea agreed fee for Pedro Neto. This one came out of the blue. So this video is going to be very, very quick. And I'm going to make more details, detailed video on the Green Turf YouTube channel very soon for Pedro Neto. So stay tuned for that. Let's start by Kingsley Coman. So the news came this morning that Bayern are trying to get rid of him. He's on very high salary and he's not playing. He's not in Vincent Company's plan for next season. So they want to sell him, but they are also open to letting him go on loan with option to buy. And if you read the comment here from fans, especially Chelsea fans, they wanted him because he's a big name. He's from Bayern. He won trophies. He's a shiny name. He's going to cost only 350K a week. So it's not my money. Get him. If you read many, many comments here, People are very positive. I don't know if they've been like sarcastic about it, about mocking Chelsea for being injury FC, or they've been serious about it and like, okay, go get him. If you look here, this scream Chelsea, go get him, blah, blah, blah. All positive here. So I don't know if it's sarcastic or not. But all I can say about this brother is, his injury record doesn't really give me any kind of insurance. This brother is made of glass. You look at his injury record here. For a normal player, for the entire career, you can find one page of injury record. For Coman, I had to scroll three pages to get everything on the screen you see i can't even put everything on the screen here so in the last five years probably he missed two and a half years in the hospital and i'm not even exaggerating you go there you read the report and you will see that this brother considered even at some point to quit football i have to to give him some flowers because he got mental toughness which is keep going, keep pushing, no matter what, because some other people will just leave, leave football altogether. But he continue playing football. But for injury reasons and for his salary, I don't think Chelsea should go for him. But I don't know if Arsenal fans are going to, you know, react positively to, to this one and let me know in the comment section down below. Chelsea got somebody like Fofana, Rhys James, Ben Shewell, Nkunku, Badiashile, people who have like long-term injuries. Lavia last season didn't even kick the ball. How are you going to get another injury prone in the team? That is a mystery. So for me, no, thank you. And let's move very quickly to Tottenham closing in on Dominic Salanke for 60 million. Remember, they bought Richarlison a few, few years ago for 60 million. And Richarlison refused to go to Saudi. He got a very good offer there, but he said, I am not going to Saudi because I have ambitions in Europe. So it's going to be very interesting to see if they buy Solanke, what are they going to do with Richarlison? Leave him in the team? It's not going to be too much for, for Daniel Levy because he always 
try to get money instead of losing money. So it's going to be very interesting. But I think Solanke is going to do very, very good at Tottenham Hotspurs. He's proven in the Premier League. He's from the Chelsea Academy. But guess what? Liverpool are going to get 20% out of this deal. And Chelsea are going to get zero. Because he left Chelsea Academy at the age of 18 years old. Because Chelsea didn't show him any path to the first team. And he decided to leave. Went to Liverpool on free. And after like one season, they sold him for, for good money. With also sell on percentage. So Liverpool are benefiting from Chelsea hard work. Chelsea never ever valued their own kid. But... They are always there to spend crazy, ridiculous amount of money buying other players from other teams, other kids from the entire world. Let me know if you think Solanke is going to be a very good option for Tottenham Hotspurs and what they should do with uh, Richarlison. We move very quickly. This one came out of the blue when I am recording. I got a notification immediately about this one. Fabrizio Romano started. Chelsea have already reached an agreement with Pedro Neto agent Jose's, Jose Mendes. No issue on salary club to club talks ongoing to get the deal done as initial request around 60 million. He is top of the list for new winger. Wow. Chelsea are going crazy. You know what? I like the deal. I'm not sure also about his injury record because he got injured a lot. I don't know how to react really properly because like I said, I'm seeing this as I am recording. So I had to jump into it. But what a signing this is going to be if he can stay fit. And then a few minutes later, it's official. Here we go. From David Austin, down deal. Chelsea have reached an agreement with Wolves to sign Pedro Neto, fee of 60 million plus 3 million add ons. And the world is going crazy at the moment. <laughs> Chelsea kept this one very, very low. We never heard, nobody even mentioned him. Long time ago, yes. But recently, Chelsea were focused on Omoro Dion and other wonder kids from all over the world. And this one came from nowhere. RKU. Boom. Chelsea to sign Pedro Neto. Lord have mercy. <laughs> How are you feeling if you are a Chelsea fan right now? Happy? And what Chelsea are going to do with Sterling? Mikalo Mudrik. You know, and even you can put Tariq George, who can play from that position. What are we going to do? <laughs> yeah, I'm still all, all, all over the place, but my initial reaction, instant reaction, you know, without even thinking, I think it's, it's a good deal. He's, he's, he's a perfect player if he can stay fit. And he costs less money than somebody like Mudrik. So I think Chelsea need to find a way of getting rid of Mudrik one way or another. And Sterling, who's going to pay his 350k a week? Hmm. It's a very good question because beside like Saudi, I don't see anybody paying that kind of money. So it's... Uh, it's some some you know it's a feel good factor for Chelsea right now, but another issue is gonna be to get rid of people to get people out of the door. Nice, Austin Bomba. Oh, is Chelsea not a laughing stock? Blah blah blah. You see all kind of reactions here from people. Mareska, uh, when making announcement to, to the team. Oh, yeah. So he's showing here like 
so many players. Yeah, they have more than 45 players in the first team now. Everybody knows that Chelsea need to sell or loan them out. out. So it's going to be really, really tough because people will try to lowball Chelsea knowing they have to let them go. They can't loan everybody out. They have to sell some of them. So, oh my Lord, it's going to be interesting.